I had no idea I was such an enigma. I had no idea I was like a character on a Toulouse Lautrec poster <laughs> in, in, in a long slouch hat. Yeah, I, I mean, are you hiding something? Are you a superhero? Or are you a- uh, both parts of superhero? I'm neither super nor heroic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a normal coward. I'm not. I, I, no, I. T- I I'm. Um, I do freelance stuff. Like I do freelance writing and. and and editing, and that's what I do. And then, yeah, and I do mainly do co- so comedy, so it's kind of half and half. Gotcha. Like half of my, you know, I guess life is comedy, and the other half is, you know, just boring writing stuff. Because that is a part of your origin story, right? Like, <laughs> you are not going to let the superhero thing. I, I'm not. I, I fell into a vat of radioactive jokes. <laughs> my origin story, uh, which um, wasn't in the Adam Burke comic book it was in a diff because it's always it's always in a different comic book right it's always yeah. like not particularly interesting tales <laughs> issue one I'm on the cover I was a I was doing freelance writing um, when I first moved to Chicago uh, and I guess I've been here about two years and uh, I picked up uh, I pitched just I met I met a comedian I met a, a comedian uh, called Paul Sigworth he was telling me about the stand-up scene, and back then it was really hard to get stage time as a stand-up because it was just improv and sketch everywhere. Oh, gotcha. And there was, a, you know, and it was sort of building up. It was kind of that post lines then thing. So I followed around to see if this is true, and like, and I met a lot of people, and it was like, you know, very few of them had proper showcases. It was all like open mics and stuff. So anyway, I followed him around for like two weeks, and at the end of the two weeks, I just decided to do a set just to see what it felt, felt like. And then I, what I say is I just forgot to stop doing it, and I just kept doing was it. Was it scary? You, you it make terrifying. it sound like I just decided to do a set. Was it stuff you had been building up over the years? Not really. No, I sort of wrote it, and then like, I sort of did one that I don't count that I kind of did dr- really drunk, uh, and I don't count that one. And then, uh, <laughs> but I, but I did one that was more of a conscious uh, decision. And my first joke is a joke that I still do. It got a got a huge laugh. And I was like. Awesome, and then the next three minutes was just silence. Wow! I just talked about. Wait, what's what's the joke that you still do? It's about. Um, <laughs> what's funny about it is I say I always say I, I just read this report about the most. It's about Chicago's literacy rate, and I always say I just read this report, but the report is seven years old. Now. <laughs> Are we all from Chicago, by the way. Round of applause. Real quick. Uh, I asked, I saw this report recently, and it listed the most literate cities in the United States. And Chicago didn't even make the top 30. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you'd read about it, but... Um... I was talking to Mike Leibovitz once, great Chicago comic, yeah. Mike Leibovitz. Uh, I was asking him, like, are you going to be in Chicago for a while? And he's like, maybe, maybe a little bit. The one guy that I don't get why he's still in Chicago is Adam Burke. Oh, like, really? So you're, you're so why why are you still here? You already have an, <laughs> you're, you have an album already. You e- always you always have brand new material. Like every time I see you, every every week or so, there's new stuff. You're you're the most ready comic to get the heck out of here. Well, that's I think Mike just doesn't like me very much. <laughs> I think Mike's <laughs> just sick of seeing my stupid face, <laughs> and uh, that's just his way of like promoted me out of his life. I, I don't know. I, I love the city. I moved here in um, 2004. And like I grew up in London, so I'm, I'm at heart like a, a city boy. Mm-hmm. I love cities. And I think this, this city is very easy to be in. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just a great city. I mean, I do know that you, you kind of have to move. But, you know, um, I kind of have a sort of weird plan in mine, but it's, I'm in no rush, you know what I mean? Gotcha. I, do, I just I just love the city so much. And it's, you know, it's crazy. I mean, the amount of stage time you can get here now is just the best, you know? Because, you know, when I started, like, even really the top comics, you know, they could maybe get, you know, they their whole week would be sort of predicated around, like, a 20-minute set, or maybe they got, like, a weekend at Zany's. Well, now there's 20-minute sets all over the joint. You know, you can do you can do your 20 minutes, and it's great. And that's unheard of. In, in the places that we're being told we need to go, like New York, and and, and, and I mean, hmm. you got to go there because you got to because that's where the best people in the country are. So you got to go see how you stack up, right? But in terms of, as you said, being able to turn over new material and work it out and work out a bit that's like seven minutes, and how does it go with your old stuff? You know, this is the best best place in the world. Mm-hmm. 